Hey there, Scorpio. Uh, welcome <clears throat> to your reading for the week of uh, November 6th. This week, uh, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. Uh, let's see what we have going on for you. It's all about money, uh, pretty much for you this week. You start off with the Nine of Diamonds, and I shouldn't say that because there's, uh, you know, there is other stuff coming up here. But uh, Nine of Diamonds is kind of like the Death card uh, in the Tarot. It can, it's uh, in the Lenormand card reading system, for example. It's called uh, the Coffin, so uh, you know it can definitely represent transformations. I always like whenever I pick up a nine, and you have two nines here, which happens all the time for some reason. That uh, whenever you know a sign gets like one nine, they usually get two, and uh, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> but um, to me, this can, you know, whenever I pick up a nine, I see like a spiral going up. So I, th I feel like these changes are lifting you up, are, you know, some sort of advancement or improvement in your life. Um, I do feel like that the nine of diamonds for some of you could represent the ending of a relationship as well. But I feel like, it, like there could be one just kind of coming in right behind it. This could be a business relationship for some of you, uh, but it could also just be a um, love relationship as well. But again, I feel like it's uh, necessary and I feel like it will help you out in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, I feel like something else will come in behind it, basically. Next, you have the Eight of Diamonds. Uh, again, success success coming in in the future, basically. Working towards the future I'm getting for you this week. So a lot of you are working towards your future. I would definitely see, say keep going. I mean, I feel like the, you know, part of the problem with maybe being a water sign right now in general is just like the general need to be perseverant, the general need to kind of, um, you, you know, want to, uh, you know, the need to like push forward through things. Sometimes I feel like water signs just, like want to you know experiment and and be creative and not have to worry about like real world things that we have to deal with trust me like i say as a water sign i totally get it um you know if i could just you know like work on random stuff that i want to work on but watch netflix all day i'd probably do it so um <clears throat> you know i totally understand but i feel like this card is saying that now is the time to like put everything together now is the time to you know kind of uh, start working towards the future in a lot of ways. I know it's a very general message, but it feels like it's a lot of things for a lot of you. Like some of you could be working on relationships, some of you business, some of you, you know, could be working on like boring stuff like taxes and things like that. But I feel like, uh, like I said, I feel like water signs are finally like putting stuff together so that they can be, you know, can have more time to themselves in the future. Next, you have the Four of Diamonds. Uh, commitments, again, commitments to business. I feel like maybe some of you have a bunch of ideas just looking at some of these other cards here. I feel like you just need to commit to like one idea at this time and then work towards you know completing that one idea and if you can't complete that idea I mean once you complete that idea once you get it going then you can like jump onto your other ideas for others of you this could be commitments in love or um, commitments in your beliefs in general next you have the nine of spades uh, worries coming back from the past um, so so needing to let those worries go I think that the, the past is behind us and we just need to move forward again I think water signs in general uh, worry about like the past way too much and worry about little things or create crazy stories in your head so no no creating like those like crazy you know stories about bad things that could happen or you think will happen or whatever like try to you know get away from doing that sort of thing uh, next you have the eight of clubs oh I didn't even notice you have two eights two nines which is uh, you know, pretty interesting. Uh, definitely new stuff, definitely starting new things. And uh, again, you end with the Five of Diamonds, so starting new things. Eight of Clubs, I feel like for you this week is like you seeing the obstacles to your success finally. And I, I think that's actually a good thing because I think in the past maybe you haven't actually seen where the problem is or what you need to do. So it's like kind of a light bulb moment for you this week. And I think seeing the obstacles towards your success and again, anything, relationships, business, whatever it is, um, I think that will allow you to just walk right around them, basically, and just move right around the obstacle or come up with some sort of very easy solution. So, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely getting the message of, like, easy solution with this card. So I think that uh, it's definitely a week of moving forward as well. And finally, you have the Five of Diamonds. Again, great time to start anything new, uh, new businesses, new business ideas you have, even relationships. Also an amazing time to sell things as well. Like, if you are in sales or if you're selling something, uh, it's a great time to get started. So it definitely looks like an awesome week for you. Uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.